What's up guys, it's been a week since my last video, which means I've now had Windows 8 for 8 days. And obviously Windows 8 and 8 days, I thought I should make a new video and show you how it actually is. Is it quicker, is it easier to use, or is it just a pain and something that you really shouldn't upgrade to? That's why I am to show you. Sorry about um, last week's poor editing and the camera noise. Um, I've fixed that, I've got manual focus on the camera now and I've actually bought Sony Vegas. So this is the new start menu. Um, the new start menu is used to access apps and for these new things called live tiles. Now these live tiles which are here, um, they will flash information at you. So you can see that Obama has um, obviously won the election and that's flashed up on the news app. And then for sport it's coming up about Djok Djokovic and Murray. Yeah, sorry, I can't say that, whatever, get over it. Um, <laughs> now, if we open an app, so let's open the news app. Um, you have a side-scrolling uh, application that you use your mouse, or if you have a touch screen, on, like on a tablet, then you would just use your finger to swipe like that. Um, so you've got all the news here. But th to be honest, this sort of application, it's not actually very useful on a desktop computer. Um, the live tile thing's nice, but you, I've never been into the news application before. It's just not, it's just not of use to me. Um, one app that is useful to me though is Xbox Music. Now Xbox Music um, is this version of Spotify, but it's all built in to Windows 8. So here you can see that I can just play Kevin Harris's new album. I haven't bought it. I've just clicked on it, and I can just play the album uh, absolutely free no problem and it will just start playing which is great another thing you can do is called Smart DJ um, this is like Apple's version of Genius if you use that and that basically means that you can play any music that's relevant to Calvin Harris and it will give you a nice kind of mix so you can just either discover new music or listen to ones that you don't have in your collection so now it's playing Ting Tings which is um, the same sort of music as Calvin Harris and you're likely to want to listen to it. Of course you can skip it if you want, but I would listen to that no problem. Back into the start menu now and we can go into the desktop. Now to go into the desktop you just press Windows and D or you click on the desktop icon which is there. So now we're in the desktop. It looks very familiar and that's because it essentially is exactly the same thing. Now once you're in the desktop you can install all the applications that you've been previously using before. So none of the applications in here I've downloaded through Windows 8, they're all just standard apps that I've either got from the internet or through a disk. So if I want to open say Ghost Recon Online, it's not officially supported for Windows 8 but it is Windows 7 so it will work. So if I click on start game then it should come up absolutely no problem. Okay, so we're in Ghost Recon Online now, and then if I want to quit, I will just quit, and it will go back to the desktop, just like any Windows 7 app would. Another really nice thing about the new desktop is their task manager. So, the usual control delete, and then you're into this task manager here. It looks slightly different, um, and that's because it gives you a lot more information, um, and it's shown in a really nice, simple way. So you can see at the moment, um, that Google Chrome is using 62.4 meg of memory and, and it will also show you how much um, CPU power each app open thing is using and how much um, hard drive disks it's using and how much network it's using and then if you click on performance then it will show you everything your computer is doing so your, my computer is not doing anything at all at the moment and it's only using 2% of my um, processing power. It's using 2.3 gig of memory and it's not actually sending or receiving any data. Uh, Windows Explorer is exactly the same as you will remember, nothing really different there. Um, but to switch between um, the Windows desktop and a Windows 8 application, you just hold down the Windows button and tap, and then that will bring up this bar. Now, this is really useful if you want to switch just between the music app, which is the only one I use, and the desktop. So I can be um, playing some music, so play where I was, and then back into the desktop and continue where I was. 
or you can just press the button on your keyboard, but yeah. As you can see, everything actually performs just as well as it does in Windows 7. Um, actually, the whole thing feels a bit more responsive. Things do uh, behave quicker, so like writing files is a little bit quicker, gaming is a tiny bit quicker, it can vary, um, but hopefully that will only get better as things get more optimised. Um, but generally, it's fairly similar to Windows 7, believe it or not, because you're only going to be on the desktop really most of the time, and the only app I actually find myself using is um, the Xbox Music one. Um, if we go into the store, you will see that most things aren't actually that useful for a PC, and most of them are useful for tablets, so like well, you've got all like Angry Birds Space, obviously I'm not going to buy and play that. Um, but if I want to, I can. I've got um, Cut the Rope installed, just why not? And that uh, will behave exactly the same as the tablet version, except you have to use the mouse. But I've got better things to do, to be honest, with my time than play um, tablet games. But if you want to play them, or if you've got kids that want to play them, then it's you know it's a nice little feature, I suppose, to have. Um, I think that's just about it, actually, really, for um, the Windows 8 tool. Um, the lock screen looks like this and gives you some information. You can choose what information you want to come up here. So I've got calendar and it will flash up here so it shows that um, I've got work tomorrow at 2. And then to log in, you just log in. I won't click on it because that would be stupid. But this little icon here, um, if you click on that it will show you what you've typed. So if you keep getting your password wrong and want to know why, if you click on that, so if I type hello, click on that and it will come up and show you what you've written. So yeah, everything's very nippy, everything happens really quick, uh, you can have multiple things open uh, at the same time. Uh, go back to the desktop, um, you've got these which aren't really that relevant unless you're on a tablet really. Um, to shut down you need to click on settings. Um, but the whole point of the settings um, charm, as it's called, is that it's relevant to what you're open. So on the desktop, it will come up with desktop settings. Or if I'm in, say, music, do it again. Um, then it will come up with music settings. So it's all relevant. And it is quite a nice feature. Um, but I just you're not really going to be using Windows 8 apps just because... Maybe it's just because we're used to the desktop, but I just think it's... It's just, it's just a lot nicer to just to be in the desktop really, isn't it? But you can have a play about with it and see what you think. So that is my 8 days with Windows 8. My overall conclusions is that it's a really nice operating system, really nicely polished, and it's got that one killer app that's Xbox Music that I use all the time, and it's really, really good. I can't recommend it more. As for actually upgrading to Windows 8, there's no hurry. Um, as you saw in my last video, if you saw that, um, I had to clean the stool, so you've got, it's, it's, it's almost like risky to up go to Windows 8, so that's not good. Um, but I would, I would, I would, I would, I would upgrade. I would try um, because it's only 25 pounds at the moment. It's going to go up quite a lot, and 25 pounds is worth paying for like a really nice visual OS. I mean, just look at the lock screen. It's just I know you, I know it's not that important, but it's just. It just shows that they've put a lot of effort into making it look nice and it's got a lot of polish, which is a really good feature. Um, as for everything else, um, it's a lot quicker and it's, it's, not, it's kind of easier to use. Once, once you get used to this keyboard shortcuts, um, you're going to be um, whizzing around um, between the start menu, the desktop apps and the Windows 8 apps. So I hope you've enjoyed my 8 days with video um, and there'll be more coming soon. Um, hopefully, as soon as I get my hands on one, I'll do a first look at Windows Phone 8, in particular uh, HTC 8X, and I'll be doing an 8 hours with, and I'll be doing a 8 days with. So don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next week. Leave any comments below, and I will answer them as soon as I get around to it, basically. Thanks very much.